Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Overview of Gedit Text Editor. In this tutorial, we will learn about Gedit Text Editor, Futures of Gedit Text Editor, the content available in various tutorials under this series. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, Gedit Text Editor 3.10. To follow this tutorial, we should have working knowledge of Windows or Linux operating system. First, let us learn about Gedit Text Editor. Gedit is a powerful text editor. It is simple and easy to use. It is the default GUI text editor in Ubuntu Linux operating system. Next. Let us see the features of Gedit Text Editor. Gedit Text Editor has all the common editing features like Cut, Copy, Paste, Undo and Redo options. The Search and Replace Text options like in any other text editor are also available in Gedit. Gedit Text Editor has a spell check facility. It displays line numbers which is very useful to debug the source code easily. It wraps text and highlights the current text. Tabbed Windows feature makes it easy to work on several files in the same window. Gedit Text Editor highlights the syntax in various programming languages. It keeps track of the open and close brackets in the programs. Addition of new features is available through plugins. Automatic save and backup options are also available. Gedit Text Editor can be used by programmers, project managers, authors and anyone working with text files. We will briefly go through the individual tutorial in this series. The first tutorial in this series explains installation of Gedit Text Editor in Ubuntu Linux and Windows and how to create a new file, open, save and close an existing file. Here is a glimpse of the tutorial. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Introduction to Gedit Text Editor. In this tutorial, we will learn about Gedit Text Editor. The next tutorial is Common Edit Functions. It will help us to understand cut, copy and paste content Undo and redo actions, search and replace text, and print document. Let us have a look at this tutorial. Only one word matches the case option, that is capital S in the word school. Again, place the cursor on the find box. The next tutorial is handling tabs. Here, we will learn to add Move, reorder and close tabs. Use the side panel to browse and open files. Insert line numbers and wrap text. Here is a glimpse of the tutorial. In the side panel, click on the Untitled Document 2. That document becomes active now. The next tutorial is Default Plugins. This will help us to know how to use default plugins such as sort, change case, spell checker, insert date and time. Let me play this tutorial. You can do so by using Ubuntu Software Center. Click on the close button of Gedit Preferences box. The next tutorial will explain the third party plugins. It explains how to install the third party plugins and use it. Third party plugin called Intelligent Text Completion will be covered in this tutorial. Let us have a look at this tutorial. I will click on the link for version 3.8 and 3.10. You have to choose the link depending upon your Gedit version. The last tutorial is about snippets. Snippets helps the user to avoid repetitive typing of code. It explains 
how to use default snippets, add new snippets, delete snippets. Other options such as highlight matching brackets and document statistics are also covered in this tutorial. Here is a glimpse of the tutorial. On the left hand side, click on the else if snippet under C. You can see the syntax for this on the top right panel. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about overview of the gedit text editor. Please refer to our website for the detailed tutorials on each topic mentioned. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. The spoken tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.